This is the York Chiller I was referring to in the vlog the other day. This is a YCAS. We've got bad sensors here. So it's J11 is the ones we're going to be replacing. So we're going to unplug, unplug that and come verify it here. Uh, J11, yep, right here. So leaving, entering, we'll end up going in. I've got the tools to slide in there and try to get those out, those pins and replace them. I'll take you through that process and we'll, we'll get all this set back like factory. That one plug, it does have the outside air sensor that's not having a problem. The stinking rats came in here and just demolished this harness and so I can take unplug the harness and it, it reads good at both sensors both sensors are have been replaced by the customer but they're still not registering here you come over here and actually test them in the pins and you get completely different readings than what the harness is actually or what the actual ther ther thermistor is anyway point is we're getting new harness today. First things first, I'm gonna look at how this harness goes up and in. So I need to cut all these zip ties and try to pull all this through. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might try to pull this panel here. You give us some room to work. That'll get into that electrical side. I'm not worried about saving this harness and it's such a short run. I'm not gonna worry about a tag line either. So we got that cut. You can see where they've tried to repair it before. It just it just ain't ain't jiving. So we got to cut there. Got to pull through there. This will give me a little bit of access through here. I may have to come in from the compressor side to get up in there. No matter what. It's crazy. You sit here and just look. You can see where uh, they've had to do a bunch of repairs on this because of these stinking rats. These rats have just come through here and just tore a lot of this stuff up. A tool that is a must have is this. So this is a electronics pins tool. This is specifically built to uh, uh, go in and, and go into these pins here. So let's get this opened up. So you have these little bitty tiny pins. These are what goes into that little Molex. So we're gonna find which one of these fits over that. That's probably that one. Yeah, that's gonna be the one. So we're gonna use that gray one. How I'm gonna identify this, the entering water is the one that we're is closest to us. That's gonna be five, eight, and two. So if I come over here, you can see those little numbers, 147 is the leaving water, the one on the other end of the chiller. So the one next to that, that would make this, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that'd make this 2, 5, 8. What I'm interested in doing here is we're going to start with the entering, push that down in there. All right, and like that, that is one sensor. So basically, process I found that was working. If I go in with this gray one, and uh, I can get them kind of clamped in at that point from there, and then if I went in, just gently took this pick and kind of worked away around at those at those pin points, it would uh, it get them to release, and I could pull them out the rest of the way at that point. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cable. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it through so they can get in here and I can plug these in. And then all I have to do is just get them to where they go. I'll get this old cabling pulled out. All right, we got them both through. There's one. There's the other. Now, the harnesses they sent me, both of them actually state the, with the labeling that they're entering water. It's not gonna matter. But what I did do is so I could keep track. The entering water I'm gonna is, is the one I put a black mark on and I just left the other one blank. I know this is my leaving water. So from there, I'm gonna come in here, my entering. We're gonna go 
Let's just push straight in. Now that we got it in there, we're gonna use one of these pin tools. Use this big one. Push them in, make sure they're seated. Nothing's gonna try to come out. It looks good. Awesome. Now we can go in, get the leaving water out, just to make sure I don't confuse these wires. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna mark these two old ones just so that I got a reference. There's zero chance of confusion. And there we go. That's together. We're done in here. We'll plug that in. Like I said, I bought this on Amazon. Uh, I don't know, I've had it for several years now, I guess. But I will, uh, I'll go back and I'll find a, it's a pin kit for like electronics pins. Um, I'll go, I'll, I'll find a link to one I, I, I would suggest. Maybe I can find the same one I got. Uh, and then I'll, I'll link that in the description so y'all can y'all can find that for yourselves Extremely useful. I don't use it very often, but man like today when I do need it doing something like this uh, I can't it just it's incredible. It takes it's, it's some practice from here We're gonna be pretty basic, so I'm not gonna get nothing too fancy Essentially, we're just gonna plug this in uh, that'll let us get this machine online when we do plug this in Bam And that's what I expected. That I believe, I've had it down and off and sitting. What it was doing earlier, I definitely do not believe. So, come over here to the pumps. Automation is calling. Kick it to on. At a low suction pressure, back here, cycle the off, on, on, both of those on, so no run permission, let me check, we got a rib in here running the controls, automation is not calling. We'll let those uh, we'll let those pumps cycle for just a second. One of the things I'm making sure of is that if, if the automation is it's got uh, CTs in those starters, looking for pump status. So it's been several minutes now. It still hadn't engaged it. We're going to just go to on. And I want to see. If our temperatures start responding the way they should you know that was almost a really big screw up what I ended up doing is uh, I almost wired in <laughs> that's actually our leaving I said that was our entering earlier I said this is our leaving I was sitting here double checking myself looking at the pipe and I realized that the pumps are pushing from the chiller to the building and back through the building into the chiller and so what in reality this is our entering and that's our leaving and i was wondering why my sensors over there were just like on the display just did not look right and I, it's always why you verify always always verify anyway that's not a big deal all it means is that i just switched the two harnesses and it fixes that but that that could have been a really big mistake now i do want to point this out this is an amazing little thermometer. It's, they're like 10, 12 bucks on Amazon. All they are is a little meat thermometer, but what's special about them, they've got this special tip. It's a needle point, and that fits perfectly into a peach plug gauge port. And so I highly recommend these. I'll go find some. I usually buy several at a time as I lose them or leave them or they break whatever happens to them they're cheap easy to replace I use them on everything they're super easy to calibrate I've had really good accuracy with them and that that going into a peach plug I mean just oh it's just such an incredible benefit absolutely love this little thermometer that center is not, it's not registering properly on the on that uh, return water or entering water 
so I don't know. I'm gonna recommend to him we need to go ahead and replace it. It's very likely that old harness is bad and chewed up as it was. It could have caused something crazy to happen and tear up that, that other sensor. So that's always possible too. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll recommend getting that replaced. At bare minimum, as long as our leaving water sensor is doing what it's supposed to, it'll run, it'll survive, and it'll be okay. So that'll get them out of the water. We're gonna leave it there. I still gotta clean up, so I'll go through, I'll pick everything up, I'll clean all these wires up. I'll take care of that process. But other than that, this job's done. I got a boiler call to go to next. So uh, let me run, take care of that boiler, and I'll probably call it a day after that.